Dino Dostoevic has disappeared. Dino was scheduled to meet with a new friend he met online on the dating app Adam for Adam. Basically, the, the text is, you know, uh, hey babe, I met this hot guy. He lives in Chester. I'm gonna go down and meet him. Um, you know, I'm super excited. Nick McBee, Dino's boyfriend, was worried sick. The two had an open relationship, but Dino always came home at night. Nick went straight to the Philadelphia police to file a missing persons report, then called his good friend Mike, desperate for help. We decided to kind of find out what we could, uh, what we could find out. So on the mobile version of the online site that Dino was using, there's like a, um, like a GPS that tells you how many miles away or how many feet away from somebody you are. They hit the road heading for Chester, Pennsylvania, a very tough neighborhood, retracing Dino's route to the 900 block of Parker Street, where he was supposed to meet up with the guy from Adam for Adam. So we go down to Chester. We just are looking and driving around in grids until that location for that person's app gets within 100 feet that person and we do we get to an intersection and where we're like this is as close as we can get and you know we, we kind of looked around you know the neighborhood looked really really s sketchy so we were like well let's let's not let's not stay here we took a screenshot of that showing that we were within 100 feet of him we took a screenshot of where we were when we took that screenshot kind of uh, on the map, which was just right over there. And we took this information back to the precinct in Philadelphia. And we said, hey, you know, it's like, this is what we've done. We've, we've followed the app. We have a location. We believe he's there. This is the last person he was talking to. This is all the information we have. Please, like, please help us open this case. And they finally agreed. They actually said, okay. Back in Louisville, Kentucky, Dino's mom was engaged in her own desperate research. So we sit at the table and pick up phone and find online all these hospitals. hospitals in Philadelphia. So we try to call each of them and ask, is anybody that age admitted in hospital? After calling Dino's phone over and over, Nick and Mike dialed Dino's number one last time. This time, Hello. someone finally answers. We told him that, you know, it belonged to our friend who's missing and that we wanted to know if we could come get the phone and he was nervous about it because obviously he just found a phone and I understandably so. So uh, we asked if we could give him the phone number of the uh, police officer in Philadelphia um, who I guess had started the case and he said yes and f to my understanding somebody else uh, a police or a detective went to pick up that phone but before we had finished with him we asked him where he found the phone and he said he found the phone about two blocks away from here um, in Chester. With that revelation Nick and Mike hurried back to the same spot where the phone was found. There were some guys kind of across the street sitting on the porch and we asked them you know if they've heard anything our friend had went missing and they said you know is your friend a white guy and we said yeah. Then hope turns to heartbreak. And they said you know they found the body of a white guy a few blocks from here. Nick and Mike make the agonizing trek to the police station. They said, you know, they had a, they had a John Doe. You know, they didn't know who he was. And um, I had to, uh, yeah, they they showed me his clothes. The desperate search to find this vibrant 25-year-old so full of life now becomes a hunt for his killer. Dino was found dead at the bottom of this fire escape. Cops cleared the person who found his phone, but the friend he was supposed to meet through the dating app is still a man of mystery. I went back to the area where Dino's body was found. At some point between midnight and 7 a.m., his body, he was murdered over here. Brenda Lewis is the unofficial crime watchdog for this tough neighborhood in Chester. She's baffled by the brutality and the eerie silence of that terrible night. If I would have heard a scream, you think I wouldn't? I would have looked right out my window and called. All right, I'll listen. Because you never know, it could be one of us, anybody that could happen to. That was sad. That was really sad. And he was killed how? Um, it was blunt force trauma. Blunt force trauma to his head? Yes. And do we know what kind of weapon was used? We don't. No. Investigator Joseph McFade is running lead on the case. Did anyone in this neighborhood hear or see anything? 
As of yet, we have not gotten any information concerning that. We did a canvas the day of, and we weren't able to uncover anybody hearing him or seeing him. No screaming, no information, no nothing. No. no. This is still an active investigation. Yes. This is not something that's sitting on the shelf. It is not. You're working it all the time? Yes. Delaware County DA Jack Whelan says he's hoping Dino's phone could help lead to his killer. But unfortunately, when the phone is pass protected, password protected, we get into a situation where we have to use our forensic techniques, our, our uh, analytical skills in order to try to break that passcode. And we're successful in many cases. In some cases, we're not successful. Unfortunately, cops still haven't been able to hack into Dino's phone, and it retains its secrets. But the search for Dino's killer continues. He was a lifeguard, huh? At the YMCA? Yeah, he was lifeguard in YMCA. Back in Louisville, friends of Dino determined to keep his spirit alive, made a memorial quilt for his mom and dad. It's built from his old t-shirts, medals and awards that signify a young life filled with triumphs. A life that Nick is resolute will not disappear without a fight. Dino gave me a new life. He gave me hope and I moved forward because I know that's what he would want me to do. And, you know, his life matters. And, and we're never going to give up. We're never going to stop looking for who did this to him. And for his family's sake, let's hope that those answers come soon. It really is a tragic reminder of the dangers of using these dating apps. Please be careful. Now, if you have any information at all on this case, you can submit a tip at crimewatchdaily.com or you can call or text our toll-free tip line, that number, 1-844-800-CRIME.